Hey everyone, it is George Kuros and welcome back to the final recording of the Innovators Mindset podcast for the 2024 year. Now I've been doing these podcasts in seasons. I don't know why. I just started that way and uh, this will be the last one that I record on my own for season four and I'm going to keep it really, really short and quick because people are busy right now. People are doing whatever and I just want to share a, a really short story with you that maybe will help you as you go into the new year. And it's something that's really been helping me and it's really been beneficial. But as you go into the next few weeks for the Innovators Mindset podcast, I, first of all, I want to thank you for listening, for taking your time to be a part of this community, to learn with me and to share back some of your ideas. I hope that you have found some value. And if not, at least you find a little fun in what I do. I don't, I, I never, I really take the work of education very seriously, but I never take myself too seriously. And I just love sharing ideas and sharing thinking. And this is a really great way for me to reflect. And weirdly enough, my hope is that when I share some of these stories, some of these ideas, I'm not looking for a ton of views or this podcast to go viral, but I hope one day my kids will have access to all this stuff and they'll be able to learn from their dad. And not only do I hope that they learn from their dad, but they see their dad learns from them. And I wanted to share that quick story for you with you uh, as we go into the new year and there's going to be a ton of great um, podcasts coming up, the highlights from the year, but this is the last one I'm going to record on my own. And then we're going to have some new stuff coming up in 2024. I can't believe how quickly this year has gone. And the story I want to share with you was I had a friend over just the other day. He's a really big guy. He's a, a guy I grew up with, very gentle giant, a very nice man. Love the guy. And uh, the Christmas tree was up in the house and my daughter, Georgia, wanted to actually put up um, a star on top of the tree and she's the middle child. My oldest daughter, Clea, oldest child, she's done it for several years. So I asked my friend, can you lift my daughter up? Because he's way taller than I am and I'm six foot four. He's way bigger than me. And I just ran a long race and I was just like, she's having such a good time with this guy he can help her. So he lifts her up, puts the star in the tree. And I watched my daughter Clea and she was so upset because she said, I wanted to, but there's only one opportunity for this to actually happen. I said, well, Clea, you actually have the opportunity to do things George doesn't get to do. And so we're going to give this one to Georgia. And she was kind of mad. She was upset and she probably about it, but she listens to me and she just kind of let it go and moved on. And so that happened. She's a little bit upset. And then my friend and I were watching something on the TV, some sports, literally three, four, five minutes later. And I watched my daughter, Kalia, while we were watching sports. She was dancing. And was she, I don't know what she was dancing to. She was just dancing. And she was just having a good old time. She's happy. And she was smiling. And I said to her, Kalia, come here. And she came over to me. I said, do you remember how upset you were five minutes ago? about that tree and not being able to put that star on top. She's like, yeah. I said, now what are you doing? She's like, I'm dancing. I said, what does that tell you? And she's like, I don't know, because she's seven. <laughs> so I said, it tells you that sometimes the things that get you really upset, five minutes later, they won't even matter to you. They won't even bother you. So sometimes when you're bothered by something, just think about it. Think about it in the future and actually think, is this going to bug me? Is this going to bug me? Is this something I need to do with? And if you start looking at stuff that way, I'll tell you 99% of your problems, they're not problems. They're just things you're annoyed with in that moment. And the weirdest thing was I was literally thinking about this with myself yesterday, like not yesterday, the day prior to this happening with Clea, I was really upset with something, something that happened. I can't even remember what it was, but then I literally stopped in the middle of what I was doing. I'm like, is this going to even bug me a week from now? And I thought about that. And the second I realized it wasn't, it just went away. And sometimes we have to get, we have to kind of differentiate between what annoys us and what's an actual problem. Now, there are some things that, yeah, this is happening right now. And a year from now, this is going to bug me still. And if it does, then you got to figure out what you're going to do. You got to figure out what you're going to do about that. But sometimes when we just don't get the little things that we want in life, the little moments, things like that, 
just stop for a moment and ask yourself, is this going to bug me a week from now? Is this going to bug me five minutes from now? From now, Am I going to be so upset about this in the moment and then five minutes later I'm going to be dancing because I really don't care? And I've started to do this and I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And it was interesting because I saw it in my daughter and I saw her doing that. And instead of just letting it go, I wanted to pull her aside and commend her for just letting it go and moving on. And when I say to you, I hope that my kids see this, it's not only because I got to share that little lesson, but Clea was living what I was trying to learn. And it was just reemphasized. And as you go into this new year, as you go into the end of this year, and maybe you're going with your family, you're gonna have breaks and stuff like that. Some of these little things that happen with our families over this time, they might annoy us. And then just ask yourself, is this something that I'm gonna care about a week from now? And sometimes we make big deals out of little things and those little things really don't really mean that much. So I hope that I can be better recognizing that. I hope that me sharing that story of my kids will help you recognize that. But I just hope you have an amazing end of this year. But that's, that's not up to me, it's up to you. And it's up to not just you in what happens to you because things always happen to everybody. It's how you deal with it. And I feel that over the last few years, as I've gone through this podcast, as I've gone through my own growth, I've shared this. It's not like bad things haven't happened to me or things that I don't like have, you know, opportunities I really wanted didn't just not happen. I just become better at dealing with it. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better. And as I get better, it seems like more good stuff's happening. And maybe it's not because more good stuff is happening, but more stuff is happening that I'm seeing as good. And that takes your perspective. So I just want to share that with you all. I hope, I know it's a really short podcast, but I want you to hopefully you listen to this in a run, listen to this really simple, but I just hope I can share something with you that helps you with your day. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of the podcast. See you next year. Bye.